guys, we are in a little closer today for my first video back from my little break. I hope you haven't missed me too much because I have been vlogging. If you haven't seen my vlogs, where have you been? I will link some below, also go and check it out in the playlist that I have. Um, and I hope you enjoy them because it's just something new that I've been trying. So this is a bit of a mishmash video. So this is basically the current makeup products that I've been reaching for when I've been doing my everyday makeup routine. Um, so in this is a couple of old favourites, a couple of new favourites, so I really hope you enjoy this and let's get straight on to bare faced me. Okay, so first of all I'm going to prime my face and um, I've been using this primer by Sensei. Sensei? Sensei? I don't really know. Never ever heard of this brand before. This is basically the brightening makeup base. Firstly the packaging is just really cute and it's got that really satisfying sound. <laughs> I'm just going to dot that around my face with my fingers, like so. And I've really enjoyed this, like there's only a few primers that I really enjoy and this is one of them. It's not too thick, it goes on more like um, a really light moisturiser um, and it just gives you like a really nice dewy finish. Not as dewy as something like MAC Strobe Cream, it just kind of makes you feel a little bit more awake. Now for my face, I've been using two different things at the moment. The first one is the Bourjois Healthy Mix uh, Gel Foundation. This has been really fun to use, I've just really loved it. It's really kind of suited my skin really well. It's done the right amount of coverage that I've wanted it to do. And the other thing is the Vichy BB Cream. Again, really, really nice, very light. Still got a good amount of coverage, not too cakey all the things you want in a good BB cream. Um, I think today I'm going to go with the uh, Bourjois Healthy Mix Gel Foundation. It's just a great foundation. It does get really messy though. I don't know if you can see at the top. It just gets a bit, a little bit of run over. I'm just going to take that with my beauty blender. So uh, the Healthy Mix Foundation is kind of like a I would say it's like a med light to medium coverage, I would say. It's not crazy um, coverage wise, but it's just still really light on your skin. Then for concealer, I am still in love with my collection, Lasting Perfection Concealer. Sometimes I find this is a little bit too light for spots, but um, it just depends how I'm feeling. Sometimes I use a the Bare Minerals Creamy Concealer, because that's a little bit darker. But this one, this is in shade Fair, so it is quite light, but amazing for highlighting under my eye. Next for powder, again I'm sticking with my trusty Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Again, I've just not found a powder yet, which has beaten this really. This is just an ace powder. On to bronzer, contour, all that sort of category. Um, I've been trying out the 17 Instant Glow Cream Bronzer. Now this has been my first ever cream bronzer. I slightly freaked out when I first received it. I was like, oh, it's cream. That's out of my comfort zone. <laughs> but I've actually really got on with this more than I thought. I just kind of took the time one day just to be like, okay, I'm going to use this and go for it. Again, as well, I thought the colour might be a little bit too light for me, but it actually really works on my skin tone quite well. I think if I get more of a tan on my face, it probably won't work as well, um, but it might just be, still be a really nice kind of way to brighten up your skin. So I just take it on like a, a, f a kind of medium-sized flat foundation brush, and I just do it uh, into the product. Why am I singing? I don't know. Now I'm not going to leave it like that, <laughs> don't worry, I'm not going to go out like that. I'm just going to put it on my face and then I'm going to blend it. Okay, so now I've kind of set it into place, I then go in with a really dense brush that I normally would use for a powder foundation and I just really buff this into my skin and it just works really well for me. So there we go, it just kind of gives a good amount of shading. Um, so I think if you uh, are really a novice when it comes to cream 
bronzers. I would really recommend this 17 one. The only problem is, is that this only comes in one shade. So I think if you're a little bit darker, it kind of limits you a bit, which is a shame. Um, but if you are fair tone and want to try something, then try to give this a go. Next, I started to get into my blushes and one thing that's really helped me get into it in, is this NARS blusher. Again, my first NARS product, very exciting. And it's not the one you would expect. It's not orgasm or anything like that. It's called Gina. Something that I'd never heard of before, but it's this warm orangey terracotta. When I first saw this, I did not think this would suit my skin whatsoever. This has been the stuff of dreams. I literally just tap it in twice and I get the perfect amount of color for my cheeks. It's just a very natural color. Okay, so when it comes to highlighting, I normally go for the Mary Luminizer or, bear with while I get it out, the MAC Strobe Cream. Um, just depends on how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling in a more kind of um, matte sort of mood, I'll go for the Mary Luminizer. If I'm in the more kind of dewy mood, I'll go for the Strobe Cream. Normally we'll use the Strobe Cream if I've used it as a primer as well. So today we're just gonna go and rock on with the Mary Luminizer because it is thebomb.com. Oh, it's just such a pretty highlighter. And again, I don't go overboard. I just dot on the tops of my cheekbones. And then I'll just dot a bit on my cupid's bow, down my nose, a little bit of a brush on my brow bones. And then I'm a happy girl. <laughs> Right, so that's normally all my face done. So now I'm just gonna rock onto my brows and my eyes and my lips. So, let me see what we're gonna go for. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. Some other brow products from Benefit I've also been using is the Cabral, the Bravo Conditioning Gel, and Gimme Brow, which is obviously an, an old favorite. Um, but today, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go in with the Goof Proof Pencil. And then you just brush it out with the spoolie that's on the other end. Now, I've kind of had a love-hate relationship with this eyeliner. This is the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Ink Liner. What can I say about this? When I first got it, I was obsessed. I was, I loved it. It was my eyeliner that I was going to. It was just fab. But as I've kind of gone along to use it, it's got very messy. Like, you shake it so that the formula goes into the little nib. Um, but the thing is, is that I find that sometimes when I open it, it just goes everywhere and it's such a shame because I really really enjoyed it and now I'm it's just a lot of fuss for no reason and it is starting to kind of not be as black as I would normally go for however something that I do really love is this which is the uh, Bare Minerals Lasting Line Long Wearing Eyeliner in Forever Brandy I've talked about this before um, this is just a really great easy day eyeliner. I'm gonna go, so I literally just draw it onto my lash, my lash line, like so. Doesn't matter if you're being messy about it, because we're gonna blend it out. And then you can kind of add and take away to it. Now I'm just gonna blend it out with a little sponge at the end and just go really lightly. So it's just almost like a little hint of something along my lash line. This is like my really, really lazy alternative to a smoky eye. <laughs> really, really lazy. And so when I do that, I just find that when I have my mascara on, as so we're gonna put it on in a sec, um, I just find that it really um, makes my eyes pop a little more. So anyway, onto mascara. So, uh, the mascaras that I've been using at the moment, and I say mascaras because um, there is one for my top lash line and one for my bottom. Um, so the first one for my top is the Bare Minerals Lash Domination, the standard one. Um, and then the second one is um, the new Lash Domination Petite Precision Brush Mascara. Because I always found when I was using this, um, that the brush is pretty big, which I love, but I always used to get it on my the under my eye. I do find, which is a shame, with the top mascara, 
that it does kind of have a little bit of fallout, which is so annoying because it is such a lovely mascara, um, but it does leave a little bit of fallout. So sometimes if I want a really stable mascara, I'll probably verge more to the Rimmel mascaras if I want a stable one. But this one is really darn nice. There we go, and that's all I do on my top. It gives a really nice feathery look, which is my preferred lash style. And then I'm gonna go in with the petite brush. Whoa, that nearly caused an accident. Luckily, I'm wearing black jeans. This is really good. It just comes straight off the brush. You don't need a lot whatsoever. And that's it. I, that's probably a bit too much there, actually, on the bottom. So last but not least, when it comes to extra bits like lips, I normally go for just whatever I feel like doing. Um, sometimes I'm in the mood for a nude lip. If I'm going somewhere a little bit fancy, I uh, go for a bit of a stronger lip or a liquid lipstick. So I'm just gonna show a couple of my favorites to you now of what I've been reaching for. Actually, one thing I, I will add onto my lips straight away is this. This is the Burt's Bees Lip Crayon in Sedona Sands. This is a fantastic nude, like really, really, really nice. So the first thing, um, I've worn this already. This is the Lime Crown Liquid Lipstick in Teddy Bear. That's a really nice color if I'm looking for a bit of a more glam lip. Um, a really nice everyday shimmer. This is another product from Sensei. And this is their lipstick in Benikinu, which is just a really nice dusty, rosy, sheer pink. I've got a couple of products from Seventeen as well. Um, I have their Mega Matte lipsticks. This is the one in Roses Are Red. Fab colour, really, really nice. And also, if I'm being a little bit more daring, I go for this shade, which is Violet Summer, which is a bright purple. If I'm more in a nude lip feel and I kind of want to spend a bit of time on my lips, there is one that has just been brought into my life and I'm so glad I have got this because this is just, oh, I just love it. So this is MAC Velvet Teddy, just such a beautiful lipstick. I think those are the most recent lipsticks I've been reaching for at the moment. Um, and then if I feel like setting my face, I go in with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray just to finish things off. And that is pretty much it. <laughs> there we go, those are the products that I've been using the most at the moment, the ones I've been reaching for, the ones I've been obsessing over. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a massive thumbs up. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.